Okay, Kanye situation. Hey, Bill, red-blooded American male here who heard about the Kanye situation and was scared shitless. I'm not going to disclose whether or not I enjoy what he was accused of enjoying. Uh, parentheses, if you don't know the story, his ex Amber Rose implied on Twitter that he enjoyed a finger in his ass. Actually, it was fingers plural. Yeah, I didn't hear about this fucking story, and it made me feel good of, as a human being that I was somehow out of the loop of this fucking news. He said, this scared me because it doesn't matter what you're into. If an ex says shit like that, you're going to get branded. Um, sir, you sound like your ex put a vase in your ass. <laughs> Anyways, he goes, it's how urban myths about gerbils get started. Unless you're f fearless Jim Norton and you can say something like that with a smile on your face on the airways, it's a pretty tough situation to be in. How does a man like Kanye deal with that? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, went, I started to read it, but I don't, it just, I don't, if it is true, I don't give a shit. <laughs> It's, not, it's really none of my business. But for what I could tell from the article, he was talking shit about her. Now, had, if she had half her hand up his fucking ass at some point, it's probably not a smart idea if he's sensitive about that part of his sexuality to be talking shit. Right? Which makes me kind of believe him that it didn't happen. Because you figure if she had that over him, if she was walking around with him like a sock puppet, right, that he wouldn't go around talking shit about her. I don't know. I got to be honest. It's one of those things that I, I legitimately feel is none of my fucking business. And uh, whether it's true or not doesn't make me look at Kanye one way or the other. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit what the guy does. And I also think, uh, I don't think you walk around talking shit about someone you used to go out with. Didn't work out. Fucking grow up. You're already married. You found somebody else. Leave him alone, right? I don't look, I don't know what happened, but all I know, he was, if, if it's true that he was talking shit about her, I probably should stop saying talking shit when we're talking about a finger up your ass. Um, you know, having said all that, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Um, you know, I would think that there's a lot of rival rappers right now trying to write down words that rhyme with the phrase fingers up your ass, uh, lingers in the class with fingers up your ass. I'm sorry. I don't know. There's, there's gotta be something that they're coming up with. Now, that's an easy one too. If I was if I was a rapper and somebody said that my ex put fingers up my ass, I, all I would be thinking was like, God damn it, why didn't she say rectum? <laughs> At least make it difficult to rhyme something. Rectum, check them. You check them fingers up your rectum. No, fingers check them. <laughs> They're all clean going up your rectum. Sorry. Um <laughs> Um, classes. I like that. How oh, that's a hundred percent on him. What about her with the stinky fingers now? Jesus Christ! You got to go with the fist bump now when you go with into uh, when you run into Amber. Give her the old elbow. You want to stay away from that? Get a fucking tetanus shot. Funny if she sh you shook her hand and then all of a sudden you just started fucking talking shit about yourself the way Kanye does. <laughs> 